Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanner Rodloff. I'm an engineering student here in the US and today I'm going to be bringing you an in-depth technical review of Razer's linear optical switches. The purpose of this video really is to show you the difference between mechanical and standard membrane keyboards as well as really dive deep into the technology behind Razer's linear optical switches. So originally this was part of the uh, review of the Razer Huntsman keyboard, but after I filmed it all and edited it, I just decided that this one would be better as a separate video. So if you are interested in the consumer review of the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard, I have that video in the link down below. So if you are interested in the technology behind the keys and the difference between a mechanical and membrane keyboard, then go ahead and sit tight and let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna break down for you, a traditional keyboard, how does it work? Well, typically how it works is there's basically a printed circuit board with circuits on it. There's a rubber membrane that's disposed on top of the printed circuit board. And then on top of that is where basically the keys are resting in a frame. So every time you press a key, it flexes the rubber membrane. And then on the bottom of the rubber membrane, there's a a little bit of conductive ink where when the rubber meets the printed circuit board it completes the circuit and sends a signal to the computer. Pretty simple right? Simple enough. <laughs> okay so now that we know how traditional regular keyboards work that and like I said that's, that's extremely simplified but so traditional mechanical keyboards instead of having the rubber membrane it basically, every single key has its own individual switch. Um, the switch usually has three parts. So there's the key cap, there's the switch body itself, and then there's sort of a switch stem on the bottom of the body where uh, it usually has the spring part, and that's the part that keeps the key in the upward position when it's not being pressed. So this is where the mechanical keyboards that are traditional and the optical keyboard that Razer has here are different. S stated simply, the traditional mechanical keyboard, when the key is pressed, the port, a little kind of arm off of the switch body makes contact with the printed circuit board and that is how the computer gets the signal that you're pressing a key. So instead of the arm that comes off of the main switch body, there's actually a laser beam of infrared light that is inside of every single switch. Is when the key is pressed down to a certain point, the beam of light is able to pass through a little hole in the switch stem, which uh, basically allows the beam of light to touch an image sensor on the other end of the uh, channel. And then that's how the computer is able to know that you press the key. This is really, really cool for a couple different reasons. So. From a durability standpoint, there's no, like, in the traditional mechanical keyboard, there's a little arm that comes off the main body that's always pressing the metal contact to the circuit that is completing the circuit. And that's doing it for every single key press. So every time the key is pressed, there is contact being made between the switch and the printed circuit board. Over time, that just wears down and just, you know, eventually leads to failure. But the really cool thing about this is that there is no metal to metal contact required to complete the circuit and send the computer the signal. It's just a beam of light. So what that means is uh, extremely good durability. Uh, and that is why this keyboard is rated for like over a hundred million clicks, which is ridiculous. Like you would never click that many times on this keyboard, but it's, it's extremely reliable. That's that's one thing that's good about it. The second thing that's good about this is it's extremely, extremely fast, like literally the speed of light. The image sensor gets the uh, gets the signal from the beam of light. As fast as that uh, beam of light can travel to the switch is how fast the computer is gonna get the signal. And so it's, it's super, super, super fast. One problem with the traditional mechanical keyboard is, so when you, you have the switch body, it's making contact with the circuit with every key press. This is extremely simplified. And what happens is when you're, you know, you're sitting there typing super fast, the little arm that comes off can actually like bounce a little bit. So instead of kind of hitting it flush every time it goes down, it really like hits it and then wobbles a little bit. And it basically causes this thing called jitter in the signal. 
and basically this can delay your computer's response time for you know for like six milliseconds realistically for regular use um, nobody would ever notice that probably <laughs> you know what I mean six milliseconds is not the reason that you've lost the past 20 games in Call of Duty and it's not gonna change that probably <laughs> okay no! mission failed we'll get them next time so the thing with that is though it's it's very very fast and also it is very very sensitive but if you are an engineer that is designing a keyboard and you want it to be one of the fastest keyboards on the market, six milliseconds is a notable difference. So another thing that is cool about this system, the actuation distance. The distance you have to press the key down before it uh, sends a signal to the computer that you're pressing that key. They're able to make the, di the actuation distance on this thing one millimeter. <laughs> so, like, you press the key down one millimeter and it's gonna think that you type that letter, which is really, really good for speed. It's, it's about 16% of a shorter distance than traditional mechanical keyboards. So if you, you know, oftentimes, like, when I'm typing, I'll put my hands out on the keyboard and then kind of be thinking about what I wanna type, and I'll look back at the screen and there'll be, like, three rows of just the letter A. <laughs> so. It is very sensitive, just keep that in mind. Um, but however, in my case, having like big meaty hands does not help. Maybe we wouldn't sound so bad if some people didn't try to play with big meaty claws. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws. Well, these claws ain't for just attracting mates. So maybe you won't have a problem with it but uh, I seem to have that problem every once in a while. They're really sensitive, so just keep that in mind. I mean, it only, it, uh, it was pretty sensitive for me. It took me probably like two days typing with it to really get used to it, but it's, it's not that bad, I promise. It's basically like the difference between driving a clunker car and a luxury sports car. With the clunky car, the brakes are gonna be really squishy. The gas is probably, like it's not gonna move until you like really press the gas down there, you know? It's not, you're gonna be super responsive, right? But when you upgrade to the super sports car, uh, you know, you barely tap the brakes and the thing skids to a halt, you know? Uh, you make some, you know, you barely press the gas and it starts burning out, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of like that, honestly. Um, and you get used to it just like you do when you're driving a car. And also, uh, it reminds you that it's a high performance piece of equipment every time you use it. So the term linear switch, the linear switch basically means that the relationship between the actuation distance and force required to continue pressing the button is linear. So I know it's a little bit hard to kind of intuitively imagine what that means, but really it kind of just means instead of kind of when you press on a key on a normal keyboard, you kind of get to a point right before the button actually presses where it'll click. So you'll get some resistance and then it'll click. With this, it is a straight linear force applied all the way throughout the entire motion of the key press. Um, there's no rubbery, spongy feeling or like clicky points. It's just one smooth motion throughout. Okay, so one thing that I like about this switch design as well is they added a really nice kind of crossbar feature to every switch to really stabilize it. Um, the thing about having a switch that is so sensitive is that you have to make sure the keys are super stable as well because you don't want to be pressing like you know the corner of one key on accident and have it be you know you don't want to you want to have it to be very accurate as well so they did a really really good job with this the the crossbar uh, support beam on every single switch really helps it to stay steady and uh, the same you know 40 grams of force is what is required whether you're pressing the edge of the key or the middle of the key so uh, you know, for feeling it just makes it, it gives it a really a durable quality feel um, and uh, you know, honestly precise as well. So anyway, uh, I really appreciate that the time that gets put into designing these things, making it manufacturable, uh, <laughs> Razor Engineers, thank you so much. This is a really cool uh, product that you've been able to manage to get uh, in front of uh, me and, ma and many others to use. So thank you Razor Engineers for that. Uh, I can give you a recommendation on this one if you do want a mechanical keyboard just because the technology I think is way ahead of its time. It's super quality so I know it's going to last a long time 
and uh, the typing experience is really enjoyable as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you think that there was some useful information in this video, please go ahead and smash that like button and help me get some more reach. As you can see, you probably are watching this and seeing that my uh, video has like three views. <laughs> so the more likes that it gets, the more the YouTube algorithm is like, oh, maybe the more people should see this. So if you drop a like, I'd really appreciate that. And feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. And um, also drop a comment. I'm kind of curious what people think. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.